Now let's experience the fourth generation carnival. First, the touch type outside door handle is activated when the driver approaches the front door handle with the smart key. To lock the door, lightly touch the outer sensor on the handle. The emergency lights will flash once, there will be a beep and all doors will lock. For the next three seconds, touching it again will not unlock the door. When you gently grip the inside of the handle, the emergency warning light will flash twice, a beep will sound and all doors will unlock. The door cannot be locked for about 2 seconds, and if the door is not opened within 30 seconds, it will lock again. When the passenger opens the vehicle's sliding door, a spot lamp mounted on the side of the door turns on and illuminates the ground underneath it. You can use the light of the lamp to check the ground and access the vehicle safely. The DVRS that records while parking and driving is deactivated when the vehicle is initially shipped, so be sure to activate it. Swipe the infotainment system screen to the left and tap the built-in cam icon to activate the driving recording options and parking recording options. Swipe the infotainment system screen to the left and tap the user's manual icon. Scan the QR code on the screen with your smartphone to connect to the infotainment user's manual screen. You can easily check Carnival's smart features such as navigation, UVO, driver assistance, and vehicle settings. Inside Carnival, you can register frequently used functions to the custom button to use them more easily. Tap Setup on the infotainment system and the button icon will appear. Go to Button Settings to find the Steering Wheel Custom button and Navigation Custom button. If you go to the Steering Wheel Custom button menu, you can register functions such as Call Rejection and Voice Memo. Activate the function by pressing the star-shaped Custom button on the left side of the steering wheel. In the button settings, go to the Navigation Custom Button menu to find such features as Passenger Talk and Quiet Mode. After registering the desired function, press the star-shaped Custom button on the right side of the emergency light to activate the function. Separating functions between two custom buttons is more useful. Let's take a look at the Voice Memo function. You can use it by tapping the Voice Memo icon on the infotainment system screen. You can record by pressing the record button on the screen. You can adjust the recorded volume by moving the volume bar and you can stop recording by pressing the stop button. Recorded files are saved with the current location, date and time, which is useful for remembering memos. In Carnival, you can check on the rear seat passengers through the rear view system. Swipe left on the infotainment system screen and activate the rear view icon. You can check on the rear seats with the camera installed in the front center of the second row roof. If the rear seat passenger is asleep, you can create a quiet, peaceful space with quiet mode. When quiet mode is activated on the infotainment system screen, the third row speakers will turn off. The front speaker's volume is also adjusted to 7, creating a quiet space. In Carnival, conversations between driver and rear passengers are made easier. Tap the passenger talk icon on the infotainment system screen to activate the function. The microphone located in the top front interior of the vehicle captures the driver's voice. The driver's voice is delivered to the rear seats through speakers mounted on the side of the third row. The rear passenger voice recognition system allows the rear passenger to set the navigation destination or lower the audio volume by pressing the voice recognition button located in the front center of the second row roof. In addition, various functions such as rear seat climate control and quiet mode can be controlled with voice commands. On the infotainment system screen, press the voice recognition icon and select the rear passenger voice recognition menu to set up the function. Let's take a look at the Bluetooth multi-connection function that can connect two devices at the same time. On the infotainment system screen, tap Setup to find the device connections icon. 
go to Device Connections, tap Bluetooth Connections, and tap the Add New button at the bottom left of the screen to display the hands-free calling and audio streaming functions. Select the desired function, press OK, search for the vehicle name on the Bluetooth device, and connect. The authentication number and connection request message will appear on the screen and the Bluetooth device. Press the Connect button on the Bluetooth device to pair it with the vehicle. Set the media by pressing the media button on the left side of the emergency light by tapping the media icon on the screen. Easily change the streaming device by tapping the Bluetooth device switch icon. The air cleaning system's fine dust sensor detects the concentration of fine dust in the vehicle and shows it on the operation display. This function keeps the indoor air pleasant by automatically turning on air cleaning mode when necessary. Press the tree-shaped icon under the emergency light to activate the air cleaning function. An air purifying filter is added to the rear conditioner to make the entire interior of the vehicle pleasant. On the climate control display window, you can check if the vehicle's air quality is good, normal, bad, or very bad. The rear seat climate control can also be adjusted from the driver's seat. On the infotainment system screen, tap the rear climate controls icon to activate the function. By moving the temperature bar on the screen, you can adjust the temperature and control the airflow direction and fan speed with precision. Temperature, airflow direction, and fan speed can also be set automatically by pressing the auto button. Of course, the air conditioner can be operated independently from the rear seat. The panel above the second row houses the temperature controls, the automatic adjustment button, the airflow direction selection, the off button, and the air volume controls. The Carnival's second row is equipped with an expandable center console that maximizes space utilization. On top of the console are two cup holders designed to securely hold drinks and coffee. The bottom can be conveniently used as a table by easily sliding out the second row of the console. Push the tray on the top of the table inward and use the 5.5 liters of storage space. Below the first row center console transaxle, there is the control switch for heating and ventilating the first row seats. Press the switch up and the heating wire and the cushion becomes hot. The temperature can be adjusted from level 3 to level 1. The seat's temperature is automatically adjusted to prevent low temperature burns. Push the switch down and the fan installed in the seat will circulate air and keep the seat's surface comfortable. The airflow volume can be adjusted from level 3 to level 1. The seat warmer and ventilated seats can be turned off by holding the switch up or down for about 1.5 seconds. On the infotainment system screen, tap Setup, Vehicle, and Seat. Then go to Heated, Ventilated Features, Auto, Controls that use climate control settings and select the steering wheel warmer and seat warmer ventilation features. The left side of the luggage space has a cabinet type luggage tray, which can hold car wash and automotive supplies. To use it, stop the vehicle and adjust the third row seats to the correct position. Hold the grooved level to easily open the pivoting tray. In the door, there is a two-tiered tray. Use the band to secure objects that may shift. You can also use the extra space inside to nearly organize the vehicle's necessary supplies. In the fourth generation Carnival, assist handles were made with foam to help third row passenger access the vehicle. When boarding, you can get in comfortably by grabbing the recess in the third row wall. When getting out, the armrest can support you as you exit the vehicle. Meet the smart fourth generation Carnival. Kia. Movement that inspires.